Hello, good evening. Oh, I chose the wrong shirt tonight. <laughs> okay, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. How's it going? Hello, good evening. This is not the best shirt. I think I can fix this. Hold on. No. <laughs> required and colors preferred okay let's see if this thing actually yeah it's not gonna help me wow okay you're gonna have to bear the color today <laughs> this is so strange but anyways so remember the first question the first thing we do in every class so let's do it let's start um talking among ourselves so go ahead, introduce yourself to your classmates. That will be better. Okay. I'm all ears. By the way, there's a homework, remember? Expressions, expressions, 10 expressions. So go ahead, start introducing yourselves. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? So Fine. Are you? Thank you. Fine. 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 Very good for the Going class. <laughs> Fine. Miguel, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, uh -huh. I had a hard day. We oh, are, really? Yes, we are in a week at my job. Oh, okay. Very difficult this week. Oh, okay. And you co workers? I don't know, Rina? I don't know. Oh, yeah, where? <laughs> where is she? Rina is sick. Oh, really? Oh. I think. I don't sure. Okay. And you, Sabrina, how are you? Uh, I am so tired because I I had a lot of things in my work. Okay, good. And the other person? <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Help us. <laughs> Hello. The same as you. you. <laughs> how is it going? Are you okay? I, I want to know. I want to know the new student. Um, let me see. Yoni, how are you? I'm fine. You? Um, fine. Where are you work? I work oh, in 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 San Salvador. I am counter. Okay. What do you, you do? Uh, I'm going to leave in a watch room. What do you do? Um, I work, um, um, I am secretary in Oficina de Registro de Armas in Santa Ana. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you? Uh, um, and a counter, and I work in a company, the service. Uh, the, 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 clean the, the other company. Mm, okay. We give the service of the cleaning. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you for the information. <laughs> Welcome. And the other people. Me, you. <laughs> the others don't want to talk. <laughs> Vamos, guys. Jocelyn, how Hi. are you? <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Thanks for us. What about you? Uh, I'm fine. I am, I am so tired. Uh, I am sleepy. But yeah. I want to continue with the class. To the end. We need to continue. <laughs> yeah. Remember. We need to continue. Yeah. Yeah, I know. 
and what was your day today? A lot of work to do? Yeah, my day was really, really hard because I did a lot of things. I, I did um, more work. I don't know what to say. Más trabajo de, de lo habitual. <laughs> more work than they usually do. Overload. Yeah. Over, overload. Just let me tell you that I took 70 calls. Excuse we me, Jocelyn, uh, where, where do you work? Uh, I don't remember. I work, for, I work for a call center. Psych? Do you know about Psych? Say no. Which account? Yes. I am uh, working for, I was working for Expedia and now I am working for Zoom. Mm. People service. Okay. Yes, I know. Yes, but I really yeah. like it. Uh, for the moment, mm. I am working for a bilingual account, but mm -hmm. I, I am learning English to improve. But Ooh. you speak English very well. I like it. Thank you. Excellent day, oh, really yes. Good. Very thank good. You so much. <laughs> good <laughs> job. Okay, uh, Tony Robbins dice que um, él prefiere una persona con autoestima alta antes que una persona eh, bien preparada. Right? Uh, una persona competente. So, es mejor tener una persona con autoestima alta que tener una persona competente. Porque el que tiene la autoestima alta es capaz de hablar de lo que sea. ¿Sí? Y tener la confianza de que lo que está diciendo lo va a decir con tanta certeza que te lo vas a creer. ¿Ok? So, claro, hay que tener cuidado, ¿verdad? Yo puedo tener una altísima muy alta, pero tampoco me puedo dar baja, como decimos los salvadoreños. Y llevármela, no. También hay un límite, pero ojo con eso, ¿eh? La autoestima sirve de mucho. Jocelyn tiene mucha autoestima y habla súper bien. ¿Ok? Some things. Yes, because, but that part, you make my great day, you made, you made my day great. No sé, la R es lo que más tienes que trabajar. Ya cuando hablas fluido, tener cuidado de no comerte las palabras. Alguna con, uh, preposición, ahorita preposición en Jocelyn y artículos. Be careful and the R sound. Okay. okay. So, all than that, other than that, great job. Thank you, Sabrina. Great job. Good job. Thank you. Everybody, you should talk at the beginning of the class just like they did, like that. Why? Because I need to um, identify your areas of improvement. Okay. So let's see. It's a little bit better. Where are you work? Come on common area of improvement, where do you work? Where do you work? Natural, where do you work? Where do, where do you work? Okay, hey, where do you work? Where do you work? I work in Oficina de Registro de Armas. Excellent, now repeat, where do you work? Where, where do you work? Sabrina? Where do you work? What do you work? Where do you work? Perfect. What do you do? What do you do? Hey, what do you do? You see, or what do you do? This is the difference, Jocelyn. Normally, when you learn English in academies, you learn to say, what do you do? That sounds really yeah. heavy. That sounds really heavy for an American. That sounds really heavy for an American. Um, but saying it this way sounds better, more natural, more native for an American, right? What do you do? What do you do? What do you, what do you, so you have, what do you do? Simple person. What do you do? What do you do yesterday? What do you do yesterday? What do you do every day? What do you do yesterday? What do you, what do you, Try to pay attention to that. And the old people, and this is another one, it's common. Don't worry. Let's correct it. Instead of saying, and the old people, and what about the rest? Right? Hey, what about the others? What about? What about? Mm -mm. 
what about? Okay, regular English, what about the, the others? Okay, no, say what a, what a, what a, what about the others? Hey, what about the others? What about, what about, what about the others? Okay, what about the rest? What about the rest? About the rest. The rest in this context, the other students, you get paid. They pay you $100. Hey, what about the rest? <laughs> context, context. I did a lot of things. Okay, un área muy importante ahorita que estás entre medio uno y de aquí en adelante, siempre escuchate a ti mismo el sonido final de cada palabra. Todas las palabras en inglés tienen un sonido final. So you don't say thing, say things. 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 Okay. I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things. Things. I did I did one thing. I did one thing. I did one thing. I did thing. 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 I did one thing. And that's it. I did a lot of things. How do you say I had a lot of Workload, I had a, work, a lot of workload. My workload has been increased. Okay. My workload has been increased. My workload has increased. Do it whatever you want, the way you want it. So I'm more stressed, I'm exhausted every day. It's like more stressing. My recommendation is some exercise. That's saving my life right now. Do some exercise, half an hour, 15 minutes, do it. Don't miss it, discipline. That's all it takes, okay? So okay. talking about, yep, Johnny. Okay, it's, it's, okay. <laughs> oh, you, you were agreeing, okay. You were agreeing. So fanboys, one, two, three, what are fanboys? Connector. Yeah, which ones? N four 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 four. Wait, wait, let's go in order. One, two, three. Four and four and four. But 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 or or jet so 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 you got it. Okay, so. don't forget it. Give me an example with so. Example with so. An example with so. She was, she was uh, late to work so to what? her boss. Made... So uh, what? Again, Ada, Ada, I didn't get it. She was late to work, so her boss made their stay after five. Okay, made her stay after five. So her boss, in consequence, perfect. One applause, that was excellent. Okay, give me an example with nor. Mm -hmm. I have one, I have two weeks without eating pupusas, nor. I want to eat pizza. Okay. You mentioned already. What? You mentioned already the example. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'm just giving you an example so you can remember that's difficult, nor, and it's not, nor. it's not so used, okay? But try it, okay? Give me another example with another fanboy. is not working for me <laughs> using my floating head god anyways uh-huh go ahead but an example with but homer i mean alexander <laughs> okay i work a lot today, but I have to go to my class. Perfect, yes, that was easy. Okay, an example with end. 
Alan. I like um, the apples and the orange. Okay, good. Let's just take the article off. I like apples and oranges. Oh, okay. That's something else, guys. When you generalize, remove the articles. No articles, no articles, okay? Why? Can somebody tell me why? This is very important. Why? Why do you remove the article when you generalize? Because it's not some, something specific. Perfect, you got it. It's not a specific. I like, I like the apples and the oranges from your garden. Just from your garden, not the others. Okay. I like apples and, your, and oranges. What apples? All apples. What oranges? All oranges. Good. Okay. Remember, always practice that, um, those connectors. Hey, guys, teacher, the list. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Welcome. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Perfect. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Excellent. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sabrina Mabel Atín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Excellent. Hey, Juan Carlos. Juan Marcos, I'm sorry, don't miss the class. Nobody, please don't miss the class. It's okay. Um, today we're 15 plus three plus four. We're 19 and I'm showing here 20. Someone didn't say present. Okay. Keep an eye open. Well, let's move on. So today we have to start the conversation with a simple question. What is your favorite starter? What's your favorite starter or starter? Mm. What's your favorite starter? What is a starter? A starter, a starter. What is a starter? I will say starter. Starter sounds like the engine, the part of the engine that turns on the car. What is your favorite starter? When you go to a restaurant, uh-huh. Like a dish. It's a I... dish, uh-huh. It is a dish. Very good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. too big. Okay. Uh huh. It is a dish. What is your favorite starter? Starter, starter. Uh huh. Okay. When you go to um, this place, have you been to? Oh my God. Argentina, how do you call this thing? Tell me about a oh, La Pampa. Thank you. Been to La Pampa? Been to La Pampa? 
Yes. No, no, actually. no actually, okay. When you go to a hotel, have you been to a hotel from the company every year, the Christmas celebration? Yeah. Okay. You know, the first dish they give you. Okay, that's the starter. So what's your favorite starter? Soup? Salad? Hmm. What do you What do you prefer? Soup? Salad. 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 Okay. Good. Salad. Have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant? Have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant? <laughs> yes. Yes. How was it? A pizza hat, for example. Pizza hat, for example. Okay. Hey, do you have to eat everything? No. Oh, in my case, no. I mean, it's like a bar salad. I I believe in, in pizza hut. Uh huh. A bar salad could be all you can eat, but what happens if you don't eat the whole dish? Can you take it? Can you take it home? No. No, you, you can. Huh? No. Okay. What was the menu like? What was the menu? So the point here is for you to show what vocabulary do you handle at this point? What vocabulary do you know about the restaurant industry? Say any words that come to your mind from a restaurant, okay? So I'm gonna split you in groups and we're going to practice these questions, but mainly talk about the restaurant. What's in a restaurant, guys? Who gives you the food? Okay, what type of restaurants do you know? So be very, uh-huh. Dishes, tools, for example. Okay. Take out restaurants, delivery restaurants. Mm -hmm. In the house, you can eat there. Okay. How do you call that? So, what vocabulary do you have about restaurants? How else do you say servers? Okay. Who is the boss of the servers? Hmm. Who is the guy giving the drinks? Okay. <laughs> Everybody goes like, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that guy. Okay, so how do you call those things? Okay, what what do you call the thing that you pay? That little paper, okay? Good? Just come up with vocabulary. That's it. Make the questions and come up with any word that you know about call center. I mean, about restaurants. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's do it together. Okay, who serves? <laughs> Carolina? Um, <laughs> I, will, I start with a question. I will be gone for a minute, okay? Uh -oh. Just a minute. I'm going to change my shirt. I hate this. Just a minute. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> okay. Hey, come on. Talking. Okay. Okay. You, uh, what would you do to introduce, um, uh, wait. <laughs> okay, how you ever eating all you can eat? In my case, yes. Cadejo, for example. Where? Oh. <laughs> was, is, was, was cheap or expensive for you? The restaurant. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Um, okay. I'm going to try to put attention in the class. Okay, in your case, uh, which was the last restaurant that you visited? And in pay for all you can eat. I visited Papayons the last month. I, in my case, I visit, visit, visit uh, Flying Wings, but you can eat. Oh, yeah. Nice. Three months ago, approximately. Okay, that's better. <laughs> yeah. I guess. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Fly Wings. Flying Wings, yes, in, in Multiplaza. There is in Multiplaza. It's, it's like Buffalo Wings, but more cheap and. The, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm, cheaper, cheaper, more cheaper. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Cheaper, cheaper, it's cheaper. Sorry. Cheaper than cheaper than uh, buffalo wings, and the food for me is more, is more. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Que llen, como que llena más. <laughs> no sé. Mm. Es más grande, están más por poco. No they sé. have bigger portions okay your pieces good to know i will try that okay and uh, what was the menu like alan <laughs> you got you got uh well it was uh, uh what was the menu like and um, mm. I'll, the menu. I'll, for example, the, like, the menu. Uh, uh, yes, like, and Cadejo, Papalons, you say that. <laughs> <laughs> and in the case of the menu, um, the started or, or dishes, um, I like pastas, for example, the menu. Italian pastas. Mm. I, I'm going to tell the truth. I am so feel feel so. Um, how can I say? Desubicated. No, not the, the right question. The right word. Out of place. Out, out of place. place. Yeah, I fell out of place. Uh, um, yeah. actually, uh, I'm feel so. Uh, I fell asleep. I'm going to tell the truth, Tony. And this, uh, like Wait, right now, yes, why? I, because I, I take the vaccine, the COVID 19. I oh. feel so you feel uh, down. Do you feel down? Too. Yeah, that's <laughs> the reason I, I try to, to, to put attention, but at the same time, I feel yeah. like I, you're I, speaking I English. Like... Don't worry. <laughs> if I'm you trying. say, if you say something that you shouldn't say, don't worry, we will understand. I try to, to say, but I, in, it's difficult. I know. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. I, 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 don't, I don't feel some uh, pain or everything. I just feel tired. I, want, I don't know why, because I never if, feel that. You know that how way. you feel? You feel numb. Numb. Right. Numb. Like Pink Floyd? Yeah. You feel numb. numb. Um, entumecido. Adormecido, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. No. 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 Okay. no. That, yeah. that Chinese vaccine no. maybe gave me a vacation of my work. <laughs> you should. Honestly, yeah. you should. Okay, don't worry. Just listen. Pay attention if you can. Okay? okay, but stay there. We need you here. Good job, Alan. Thank you. Okay, keep going, guys. I have to go visit another group. Thank you. Uh, what do you um, up to? <laughs> teacher. Yeah. Could you explain again what are we doing, please? Explain them, explain them, explain us uh, what we're doing. Yeah. We are just making the question number one. What is your favorite starter? Do you know what is a starter? No. Okay, it's the first dish. Did you eat and so on? Okay. Have you ever eaten at an all you can eat restaurant? What is an all you can eat restaurant where you can eat everything you want, all you want? 
you just pay like $15. Oh, yes, like Papagnons, for example. Okay, yeah, and so on. It's a conversation, okay. guys. It's a conversation. Yeah. Um, what was the menu like? Mm, not so extensive, you know, very. Okay. They don't have too much variety, too much variety to choose. It's just pizzas, you know, entries and all that, okay? So the point is to see how much vocabulary you have. Okay, teacher. I, I understand. Okay. okay. Just lean your camera. Uh, yes, teacher. Please, thank you. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. So, I have... I have not visited uh, some places like that, so I don't have idea to. What places? All you can eat restaurants? Yeah. yeah. Papayons has that option. I don't like Papayons. Really? No. Okay. I, respect I prefer that. Pizza Hut, I think, or right. Laka Laka. So Oh, okay. Yeah, the like, like is delicious. That's really good. Okay. I prefer tacos from the lips. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't, like that. I don't <laughs> remember the tacos name, the place name. And everybody says, oh, tacos from the lips. No, it's, uh, uh, I can't remember the name. They're delicious. Those I don't tacos. know the name, yeah. but, oh, yeah. Oh, we, we, we use the tacos from the lips. Mm -hmm. Have you tried yeah. them? Yeah, but I, I didn't like it. Really? Wow. You're the first yeah, person I, I met. <laughs> I prefer the um, El Sotano. El Sotano. Where is that? It's near of the Casino Colonial. Casino Colonial. Oh, oh yeah. I know. Hmm, is it the yeah. opposite corner? Is it on the opposite corner? Near to yeah. Fiscalia? yeah okay yeah i think i yeah. got it yeah and you and you are going to spend less than less than to buy the the tacos in in front of the lip good to yes. know i'll take yeah. your word <laughs> i'll take your word got it okay so right. we were we were trying to look for some words that we can use to um, I mean the point is what is there in a restaurant what can you find in a restaurant oh uh, yeah we we have a list where all of all of that informations but I don't know some words so I think that lady I'm, I'm going to to have to translate some words okay we will use it today. Okay, let's move on. Let's continue. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter or Mars. Okay, we're back. We're 20, 20? Where, where, where are we 20? We were 22, okay. Okay, remember always camera on, please. That's very important. Okay, so what's your favorite starter? Ada, Susana, can you give me a number between one and 26? Hello, teacher. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> can you give me a number between one and twenty-six? One and twenty-six. Any number between one and twenty-six. One. One. Two. That's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem, teacher. No problem. No problem. What's your favorite starter when you go? Um, salad. Salad. Yes, my favorite uh, restaurant is Co Grill. 
especially go uh, green. Do you like go green, really? Uh, yes, and the galerias escalon. At, at galerias escalon, really? Yes, and the, it, is it expensive? Um, more or less. <laughs> more or less, sort of. Yeah. Sort of. Eight, eight, and ten dollars. About ten dollars the dish. Yes. Oh, that's, um, wait, is it a lot of food? Or no. is it, no, it's, it's very French. Medium, wait, wait, it's very French, very fancy. French. Very, very, very fancy. Is the especially the salad Mexican? The, sa the Mexican and, uh, salad. And Mexican salad and the refresh the lemonade uh, with chia. Okay. It's exquisite beverage. A drink, mm -hmm. it's exquisite drink. You say beverage. Beverage. <laughs> Pay attention, everybody, because this is restaurant vocabulary. You see? Some, you know, it, people in Dakota or Vermont, these places in the United States, up high, Montana, they say refreshments. 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 And that's not common, but they say it. Yeah, it's valid. Uh, but the most common word in America is beverage. Beverage? Yeah beverages okay cold beverages hot beverages and you will see them on the menu which we will talk about that in a minute great job Ada thank you okay have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant give me another number Ada please another number choose now teacher <laughs> come on just say the number don't worry you don't know um, medium? No, <laughs> say a number, but okay. Who's medium? Wait. No. Oh, just say medium. a number. Where's medium? No. No medium. No. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, medium Carolina. Oh my God, there she is. Hi. <laughs> I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Okay. Have you ever eaten at an old you can eat restaurant? Yes. Um, tacos. Tacos. All you can eat tacos. Oh my God. How was it? Yes. How was it? Uh, um, my case is restaurant in Socalo. My my friends. With your friends. Yes. Okay. Friends. Mm -hmm. El Zócalo has all you can eat. Yes. What? Where? In Metro Centro or where? No. Okay. Eh, in Venecia. Paseo Venecia. Oh, in Sayapango. Paseo Venecia. Next, next to my work. Next to my job. Good, next really? Job. Next to yeah. your job. Wow. I'll go there. But after, once I have the six pack, guys, I'm going to eat everything after the diet. One time, not every time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. Give me a number between one and 26, Miriam. Um, Carla. Okay. Carla, Ivania. Janet Amaya. Huh? I'm sorry. Okay, Carla. Oh, okay. Carla, Janet Amaya. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh -huh. Carla, Janet. Sorry. Okay, uh, what was the menu like on your favorite restaurant? What was your menu like? How did you like the menu? Uh, I like typical food. But let's picture the scenario. You went to your best, your favorite restaurant. What was the menu like? Like, uh, was it organized? What did you see first? What second? What do you have on the last page of the menu? What was it? I 
I don't know. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Someone, select someone more, one more person. Uh, I like typical food. Mm -hmm. So where uh, do you go to eat typical food, Mr. Donuts? Yes. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or Dennis. Where Dennis. do you see? Oh, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. Dennis. Wait. Dennis, typical food. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. How do you like the menu? Um, um, I like, uh, for example, beans, eggs, mm -hmm. or cheese. Avocado. Coffee. <laughs> Uh -huh. Avocado, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I love that too, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, somebody. I want to volunteer. If you have experienced amazing service from a menu, you remember when you went to a great restaurant and you saw the menu and you fell in love with that menu, right? You fell in love. You know what is this? Is the Japanese form of this? Love. Yeah. Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Japanese. Okay, so share your experience. I want to hear you. Have you uh, been can can I share my experience? Please, Alan. Okay. Um in 2005, a long time ago, I worked in a hotel. They have a restaurant in the Zona Rosa mm -hmm. and they put a menu like a brunch, like a, all you can eat, the seafood, everything that you want. And in that place, uh, all the employees, including me, can eat anything of the food over there, right? Because it's, uh, it's, uh, they, the, the rules that say that you can't, well, but when the the all the brunch the all you can eat was over okay do it eat everything you want uh hamburgers and uh, french fries and shrimp crabs whatever you want you take it no no worries take it Just home do it. take it home no you can't oh you couldn't the rule is not the rules is only in the cafeteria, right? Only oh. over there. You can take everything they want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that's amazing because uh, all the, for example, the cordon bleu and dishes that is so expensive that you can take it three, four, wherever you want. That's uh, what's my experience that uh, in that hotel that um, let me today today actually the name is Barcelo, mm -hmm. but uh, that's amazing experience because I want to eat uh, pizza, pupusa, whatever I want. I just tell me, give me four, give me one, give me whatever. It's amazing. Great job, Alan. Hey, you have good vocabulary regarding restaurant industry, and that's because Alan worked in a hotel. Hmm, that's a different industry, but very similar to restaurants because every hotel, every hotel nowadays, every hotel, big hotel, has its own restaurant, right? And most, most restaurants are open to the public. It's not that you aren't staying at the hotel, you can go and eat, right? Of course, it's expensive. Hey, great job, Alan. All employees could eat. The past of Ken? Could. At the end of the day, I love that phrase. At the end of the day, but you can use, they used to let us eat um, the rest of the food, you know, what was left from the old you can eat to avoid um, losing all that food. Okay. So they used to. I used to. He used to. Okay, when you talk about what? I used to be fat. Now I'm thinner. I used to smoke. Not anymore. Used to. 
keep an eye, used past to the base form of the verb. I used to be, I used to eat. I used to eat pupusas, not anymore. I used to eat fat, not anymore. I used to be healthier, not anymore. I used to be younger, to be younger. Okay, got it? I'm just teaching yes. you something quick, something quick that I'm teaching you. When do you use this to talk about, uh, how do you call this thing? What you have experience in, what you have experienced before. I used to, I used to, I used to. I forgot the name. Okay, so get the form I used to and then a base verb. Got it? Very simple. Let's move on. Let's go with some vocabulary related to the restaurant industry. Okay. I will ask for your help with this. Let's see, there you go. Okay, I'm ready. Now the tools that I typically use guys are free free content that you can find. This is called Quizlet. I'm not making promotionals, but it's very useful. You can find any topic, doc, if you want to look for, I don't know, vocabulary related, related to surgeries, you can use Quizlet. You have an important presentation and you just need vocabulary. You can you do this. When you had a presentation at school, remember? You had to have these little papers in your hands reading. That's Quizlet. You have flashcards. So what's a menu? Menu. Can somebody describe what is a menu? And let's use basic one vocabulary. A menu is, is our food. Okay. A menu is like a list of food. A list of food. Or beverage or beverages available at okay available at restaurants and many places yes a list of options a menu remember there are menus as well in your screen on your tv that's a menu and you say menu okay you don't say menu you say menu waiter what's a waiter can somebody else explain to me what is a waiter the person who no Spanish. <laughs> the person who takes uh, your order uh -huh. and, and yes. serves your food and serves your food. That's why they say, "Don't you ever mistreat a waiter? Never mistreat a waiter. Be nice with the waiter. Give them a tip if you don't want to suffer the consequences." And they serve your food. Yes, that's a waiter. 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 Okay, that's a waiter. Man who serves food in a restaurant. Okay, that's a waiter. But, okay, a waitress or a waiter to, what is a waitress? The same, just is the female. Female. Exactly. It's the same, it's just this is for female. Perfect. Okay, a woman, in this case, a woman who serves food or drinks to people in a restaurant. The same definition, but this is for women. Women. Boss boy. What is a boss boy? A boss boy. Boss boy. Mm -hmm. The driver? No. Well, Similar, think in a restaurant, who could be a boss boy? Someone who helps to the waiter. Doing what? With, with the activities of the waiter, I don't know. Cleaning <laughs> tables. You're, what, what? Who clears, who clears tables in a uh, restaurant? Thank you. Thank you, Google. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> I saw you guys. Come on. Yeah, that's the guy who clears the table. He cleans the tables. Very good. Ah, clean the tables. Yes, he's the one with little buzz. Let's say the little uh, 
little thing, you know, with wheels on it, <clears throat> cleaning up, lifting all the dirty dishes, cleaning the tables. Okay, that's the bus boy. Let me see. Bus boy. Bus boy. Bus boy. Bus boy. Host. Easy. Give me the definition. Someone else. Juan Marcos, come on. Why are you so quiet tonight? Because. <laughs> uh huh. What is a host? What do you think? Host is the people. Can you hear me? Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Um, it's like the person you present to you. The person that presents to you. Present to you in the door. Oh, the person that receives you, the one who receives you at the door. Hmm. I will say so. Yeah, in a restaurant, definitely. That's like the host. Okay, the host, hostess. Very good. Good. Yes. Greets the guest in a restaurant. Greets the guest in the restaurant. So he goes like, hello. Good evening. Is everything all right? Yes, the man in charge of making sure that everything around the restaurant is well, is okay. That's the host. In a party, there is a host. If you have a party, if you throw a party at home, you are the host. Got it? Yeah. Okay, and when you get married, who's the host when you get married? And you have a party. Come on, guys. Talk to me. William. I don't have an idea. You have no idea. Is yourself. I mean, you get married. Okay. As the room, you are the waiter. I mean, the host. I'm sorry, the host. You go on every table. Hey, how are you? Good? Good. Great job. Okay. Let's move on. Hostess. Hmm, wait a minute, host and hostess, any idea? It is the same for family. Hostess. Excellent, good job. A woman who receives or entertains guests, exactly what Juan Marcos said, but in this case is a female. Um, Tony Romas, Tony Romas in um, Zona Rosa, Okay, yeah, in this case, it's a woman, it's a woman, sorry, who received you, Antonio Roma's La um, Sona Rosa, you, there's a woman, always same. How many are you? Table for how many? Good. And she walks you, she walks you to the table. Hmm. Maitre de hotel. Maitre de hotel. Maitre de hotel. Maitre de hotel. What do you think? No idea, okay. Responsible for the overall management of service. And this is crazy here in El Salvador. I have seen in some restaurants at hotels, there's always a guy standing near to the columns. For example, in the Marriott, there's always this guy standing on the, on the, on the pole, or how do you call this thing, the, the column. And he's always serious, very serious, Watching like the, the he's the boss of the waiters. Yes, the captain, let's say, of the waiters. It's always attentive what they're doing. So, hey, come here. Fix your tie. Fix your shirt. Hurry up. That table. Man, all the time. And then he approaches. He approaches your table and he goes like, is everything all right? Is the food delicious? Good? Okay. Could be the manager as well in a restaurant. Okay. Metri de hotel. Okay. Tax. Come on, guys. What is a tax? Okay. You don't want to talk. I'm going to start choosing people. Miguel Angel. Is, is, tax is a piece of yeah. money, extra money that you pay about your bill. On top of your bill? Yeah. The tax is 
extra money that you pay on top of your bill. Arrangement, yeah, it's an arrangement. It's extra money that you pay on your bill and goes to who? Who receives that tax? The employees. The government. <laughs> yes. That's the tax. It's an arrangement. Okay. Between you and the government. Tip or gratuity fee. Here is missing fee. Gratuity fee or tip. What is that? Yeah. It's additional money. It's given to the waiter for his work. Excellent. That's why I like to call it gratuity fee. Okay. Although a fee is collected in your credit card or debit card. Okay. But gratuity, it's just gratuity. Thank you. It's a tip. Thank you. That is exactly right. <laughs> no, 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 not in this case. Okay. <laughs> Money paid for service beyond what is required. Money paid for service beyond what is required. So if this, if, listen, is beyond what is required. What is a waiter's job? A waiter's job is just to take your order, get your order, bring your order. What is beyond that? What it's is like beyond a, that? Like an extra mile. What is the extra excellent. mile? Think as a waiter, like what is a, the extra mile? Like an excellent service. It's okay. a good service. For example, the waiter has a lighter and he notices that you want to smoke. Oh, sir, the lighter. Sir, uh, the usher, you know, he, he brings you an usher. Uh, you need an extra, an extra spoon or you want milk and he's attentive to you. He's always on top of you, sir. Anything else? Anything else? Are you okay? Man, how do you feel? Awesome, right? Awesome. Okay, that's a tip. Dish, repeat, dish. 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 Okay. Uh, help me, Fernando. Read. Uh, a dish in gast gastronomy is a specific food preparation, a distinct article of or variety of food ready to eat. Almost close. Very good. Gastronomy. A dish in gastronomy. Gastronomy. There you go. A dish in gastronomy is a specific. Is a specific. Food preparation, food preparation, a distinct article or variety, variety of food, a distinct article or variety of food, ready to eat, ready to eat, ready to eat. Okay. Good, very good. So that's a dish. Okay. Of course. Of course. And these are real words for restaurant, guys. Be attentive. Okay, of course. Help me. Um, well, it's too small, right? Who can read the small letters? Jose Antonio, Cubillas? Yes. Uh, a dish uh, or a set of dishes served together, forming a dish or a set of dishes served together. Nice one in the suggestion for us a mini a meal. A meal of a meal. Okay. A dish or a set or of dishes served together, forming one of the su successive parts of a meal. So okay, that is the course, the main course. Okay. That is a course. So you have meat, you have the vegetables. That is a full dish, a course. Dish, 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 of, mm -hmm. dish of day. Dish oh, of the day. dish, the dish of the day, the speciality, the, the, the speciality okay. of the day. Yeah. Okay. Entry. Entree. Entree. Excuse me. Okay. Pardon me, entree. It's the same starter. Entree. 
Yeah, I will say so. Yeah, it's, it's a synonym of starter. Okay, the main course of a meal in a restaurant. Oh no, yeah, it's the main course of a meal in a restaurant. So before we said course, okay, course is the variety of food they offer in the middle of the dish. So you can have the main meats, food, uh, chicken, meat, fish, seafood. These are the main courses, okay? And that, that's the main course. That's the entry. Entree, I'm sorry, this is the entree. Let's see. A la carte or a la carte. Hmm. A la carte. A la carte. This is French. A la carte. A la carte. And it is used in American English. A la carte. Okay. Help me, um, William, don't fall asleep. Of a menu or restaurant, listen, listen or serving food that can be ordered as separate items rather than part of a seat meal. For example, when you go anywhere, you know, to eat near your job, and you like you like the chorizos and you also like the chicken oh my god can i order chicken and chorizos and they go like no it's chicken you know with rice have that happened to you have that happened to you? and they say oh no it's two dollars the dish it's 250 the dish okay chorizos rice and salad two tortillas and a refreshment and a beverage okay what if I order chorizos and chicken? Okay, that's two and two, four dollars. Like what? <laughs> okay, so the same is a la carte, a la carte. Very good. Hollandaise. Hmm. Hollandaise. Hollandaise. Let's see. A rich, emulsified, grand sauce made from butter, egg yolks. What are egg yolks? You know what are egg yolks? Egg yolks, the yellow part of the egg, okay? The yellow part of the egg is egg yolks. Lemon juice and cayenne pepper, let me see. A rich emulsified grand sauce made from butter, egg yolks, lemon juice, and cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Okay. That's that's this word. That's Hollandaise. It's a type of sauce. Okay. I'll send you this presentation. Let me see. Baked. You know what is baked? Cooked in the oven, right? Baked. Broiled. Broiled. Cooked under direct heat, broiled. I'm not saying boiled. That's different. This is broiled, okay? Cooked under direct heat, okay? Steamed. So you don't say, well, yeah, you can say boil. Steamed, vapor. Think about vapor, steamed, okay? Cooked over boiling water on top of the boiling water. How do we call this in Spanish? Baño? Come on, girls. Baño Maria. Baño Maria, right? Cooked over boiling water, steamed, vaporado, let's say. Okay. Fried. This is easy for you. Fried. Okay. You don't say huevo estrellado, crushed or smashed eggs. <laughs> no. You say fried eggs, okay? Cooked in hot oil, hot oil, like fries, for example, eggs, okay? That's a fried egg, fried potatoes, sauteed. 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 Okay. Fry quickly in a little hot fat. Salteado. Sauteed. 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 Okay, sauteed. 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 Okay, fry quickly in a little hot fat. Okay, stuffed. This is very common in America. Have you ever eaten uh, pork 
stuffed pork, stuffed pork, <coughs> sorry, wait, S stuffed pork. What is stuffed pork? No, okay, fill Spanish. with some, no. uh-huh, what is it? Uh-huh. Estofado. Estof no, no, stuffed is relleno. So stuffed pork, cerdo relleno, um, stuffed pork. Okay, fill with something, rellenado con algo, okay? And so on, God. You have scargot snails, scargot na snails, never tried them before. Have you tried snails? You know, these are snails, right? Snails. Teacher snails, que no son clavos. No, nails, those are nails. These are snails, okay? land snails okay good parfait and these are just this is just vocabulary but in general terms you have a chef at a restaurant right a professional cook a professional cook that's a chef a professional cook okay beverage as ada said beverage 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 okay a liquid used as a drink. Mm -hmm. Very important. Appetizer. Appetizer. And this is the entree. Okay. This is the starter. A small dish of food served before the main part of a meal. You know what's my favorite starter? My favorite starter. I go, I I used to go to El Camino Nado que te comandan, and we used to do one day fasting, you know, no eating for one day. And during Semana Santa, right? And then we used to go to a hotel eating somewhere. And I loved um, the appetizer I had at the Holiday Inn, it was just as simple, very simple, a slice, I mean, five slices of tomato, five slices of tomato with uh, some sort of white cheese, white cheese on the top, oil, pepper, and something green. I can't remember what was it. Man, it was delicious and so simple, okay? It was a simple salad, okay? Medallion. What is a medallion? Girls, come on, girls. Chicken medallion. Okay. And so on. Let me see if we find any other that is very important for. No, that's it. Oh, a reservation. What is a reservation, guys? Reservation. You make an appointment. You make an appointment. Why do you make an appointment at a restaurant? For on a special day. Mm, or if it is a very crowded, a very crowded uh, restaurant, right? Okay, hope you took notes. Um, it's 9.08. I'm going to do the attendance one more time. And then we're going to go with the book in full. Okay, one more time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. I'm sitting here. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Okay, Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Fátima Efigenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. 
René Alonso, Madrid Escalante, Alfonso, sorry. Thank you. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay. Alan, thank you, Alan Christopher Sorry. Abrego Visuela. Present. Thank you, Visuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Okay. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. And Juan Marcos Guzmán. Juan Marcos. There you are. Yes, your internet connection is failing. Cuando la conexión Thank you, thank you. Cuando la conexión de internet les falla. Yeah, uh, pueden apagar el video si la conexión de internet les está fallando. Solo en ese caso, eh, para que su audio mejore, el ancho de banda se reduce y mejore el audio. Okay, let's move it. Let's go. So, I will be able to organize a basic restaurant menu that features appetizers, snacks, main course, desserts, and drinks options. Is there something wrong here? Is there something wrong here in this grammar? Desserts and drinks options or drink options? Drink options only. Yeah, right. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Drink options. So, organize a basic restaurant menu that features appetizers, snacks, main course, desserts, and drink options. So, I'm going to read this for you one time, and then you're going to practice. This is very simple. Okay, but let me leave this in recording really quick. Okay, good, let's go. Okay, so you say, how well are the new menu items doing the main fish and chips courses are doing great 99 percent of people like them then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well only 35 percent of our customers liked it let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers liked them. Probably we only have to rise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. We have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted to that well. Okay, now let's do it in a natural pace. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake is line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. 
probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Okay. Now that's our, for the recording. If you want to check the video again tomorrow, check the articulation and repeat after the teacher. I need two volunteers. Mi Carla. Mi Sabrina. Mi Carla and Mi Sabrina. One, two, three, action. Um, how well are the new menu Aries doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to, re to revise the lemon cakes since not many people react well. Good job. Let's see and repeat. Items. Items. Better. Liked it. Liked it. Um, let's review the ED endings, guys. ED endings. And again, remember, every word has a final sound. Okay. If I say K, K. No, you say cake, right? K. Mm -mm, cake. cake. If I say line. Yeah, line sounds good. Yeah, okay, but new, 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 new uh, lemon, lemon, I don't know, but the last sound of every word is very important. We will get there. So liked it, liked, and you join it, liked it. Liked it. Better. Liked it. Good, Carla, great job. Now, recent. Recent. Mm -hmm. recent. This is like an I, okay. Latin I, recent products, okay. Customer, mm, customers, it's plural. Customers. Uh huh. Of customers like them, like them. Like, like them. them. Okay. Like. Liked them. Liked them. Liked. This is the first rule of ED endings, liked them. Okay, reacted. Reacted. Mm -hmm. React. Since not many people reacted well. Since not many people reacted well. Repeat, Carla. Since not many people reacted well. Perfect. A good pronunciation. Okay. Thank you, girls. Two more volunteers, and then we go repeating ourselves. Mm -hmm. Me, Isha. Me, Isha. Me, who? Alexander. Yes. And. Ren Alfonso, okay, thank you. One, two, three, action. How well are you the new menu iron suing? The main fish and sweet court are doing great. Ninety percent of people like them. Then the new lemon cake plane is not doing very well. Only 35% of all customers like it. Let me check the online pools for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to review the lemon cake signs. Not many people write the well. Better. Thank you very much. Repeat, Rene. Doing. Doing. Hmm? Doing. Line is not doing, doing very well. Repeat. The line not is doing. not doing very well. Uh, line is not doing very well. Doing. Doing. Yeah, not doing, not doing, doing, doing. Mm. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Then you say revise. Revise. There you revise. Go. Yeah. Since. 
Sin. Mm -hmm. Sin. Sin. There you go. Sins. Okay, guys, let's go in groups and repeat, repeat, repeat as many times as you can. Then I will have some of you, another couple coming to the front and repeat the lecturing. Okay. Make sure you practice. Don't stay quiet. Help your classmates. We are 21 right now. Let's go. No necesitan compartir la pantalla. Remember, it's okay. Let's go. Okay, practice. Hello. Hello, Roberto. Come on, practice. Uh, Carla is Nancy or Jennifer. I am Nancy. Ah, I am okay, how well are the new menu items doing? Um, um, let me let me check the word. Um, what page? Uh, page number 12. Well, okay. Okay. One more time. Okay, how well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% 35, 35 of our customers liked it, liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent product. Yes, just like you say, said, it sends the new nacho snack are doing great. 80% of customers like, liked them. Probably, probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people react well. Okay. Okay, uh, Roberto. Okay. You are Nancy. And yes. And me, Jennifer. Okay, yes. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? Um, wait, guys, I repeat menu. 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 There you go. Menu. Menu items. Menu items. Good. And you say polls. 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 Let me check the polls. Menu, Menu polls. Okay, continue. Menu polls. Okay. The main pitch and chips course are doing great. The thing in Lemon Cake Lane is doing very well. Only there's by person or customer like it. Do it again. Yes. Let me check. Let me check. The only call for the Western product. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new national snap are going great. Eighty percent of customers like them. Okay, probably we only have to receive the lemon cake, see not many people read Google. Okay. Um, Okay. Um, me, Jennifer, you, Nancy. Okay. How will... Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. How well are... The... Wait, wait, wait. Do you have a question? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. I, I have a question. How do you, how do you pronounce... How, how does the pronounce... Revise. The pronunciation of revise. The pronunciation 
Oh, revise. Revise. Uh, revise. Okay. Um, um, I'm Nancy. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and his course are doing with 99% of people like them. The, the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new national snack are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake time thing. No many people who ask the world. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the, the thing was the Last reacted, show. reacted well, reacted well. Reacted well. Yeah, reacted well. Okay. Well. Remember, it's not about speed, Rene. You have to articulate every word you say. Go slowly, okay? Because you said again, doing, it's doing, 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 doing. And you say 99%, 99% of people like them, 35, 35% of our customers. Um, Carolina, you say recent. Uh, recent. Yeah, recent, very good. <clears throat> what you can do, did you print the book? Do you have the print version or? Uh, no, I read myself, myself, okay. Can you put your finger on the word recent? Can you underline? Yes. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. trate de sombrar solo las primeras sílabas. Re. Y la marca, mm -hmm. así como subrayarla, digamos. Re. Mm -hmm. Y eso, re? Y, y ahí estaría indicando en la fuerza de voz, el estrés. Re. Oh. Sent. Re. Sent. Uh -huh. Y ahí va el estrés. Cada vez que escuchamos una nueva palabra, no tengamos dudas. Escuchemos más y a dónde ve el estrés. ¿Dónde ve el estrés? Solo hay un estrés. En cada palabra solo hay una sílaba estresada. Ok. Ok. Um, and how did I say? How recent. did I pronounce? Ah, recent. Ah, recent. 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 Ajá. En, en recent es resentir. Ah. Okay. De hecho, creo que igual se escribe ya. Recent. Ajá. Recent. Oh, ok. Recent. Good. Good. Uh, uh, repeat again the yeah change okay. roles change roles and repeat one more time oh, no, okay going back. Renee is it's Nancy okay, okay one more time okay. one go ahead two, three go mm -mm. Uh, how how well are the minion items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. Ninety nine of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only thirty five percent of our customers like it. Let me share the online for for receipt products. Yes, just like you said. It seems the new national snack are doing great. Eighteen percent of customer lying. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake. People reacted well. Excellent. Very good. Okay, really quick, guys. Um, Fatima, repeat. Seems. 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 80%. 80 percent. 80 percent. Percent. Per, per. Per. 80 percent. 80 percent. Better. Like them. Like them. Better. Like them. Um, so when you hear a new word, cuando escuches una nueva palabra, quiero que empieces a hacer esto en tu libro, ya sea en PDF o impreso. Empiezas a sombrear donde escuchas el estrés. 
to, cada palabra en inglés tiene una sílaba estresada. No existe la tilde, pero existe el estrés de la sílaba. So you say re-sent. En este caso, esta es la sílaba estresada. La primera, re-sent. Okay. Tú ocupa okay. un lápiz si lo tienes impreso el manual o presiona tu dedo sobre esa parte de la palabra y trata de sombrarlo, ¿ok? Um, okay. For example, I don't say people, right? I don't say people, I say people. people. So, haría esto con esa palabra. Y así con todas las demás que people. tengan más de dos sílabas, dos sílabas o más. Por ejemplo, no digo customers, no digo customers, digo customers. Customers, customers. Got it? Customers. Customers. Got it? Okay. Good job. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, just clarifying a few things here. Just clarifying a few things. Um, you say courses, don't say courses, because curses is, curse is maldición. Curse, maldición. Course, course, of course. Por supuesto. Course, curso. Course, courses, cursos. Okay, but in this case, the main fish and chips courses, okay, los platos, prácticamente, principales de pescado y chips. ¿Qué son las chips? What are chips? Like uh, fried. Fried, fried tortillas. Potatoes or tortillas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Chips. Everything that is fried and small, like potato chips. Okay. Um, Alguien quiere mostrar lo que ha logrado? How good are you? A volunteer, two volunteers who wants to show yourself. You know, I haven't heard Rina. Rina, I haven't read. Carla Ivania as well. How good are the new minions? <laughs> Okay, go. Go ahead. How? Oh, where are the new menu items done? Okay, repeat items. Items. Okay, let's see something. Quiero que todos pongan atención porque así es como yo espero que ustedes aprendan. Puedes volver a ver el video cuando les leí de cerca en la cámara. Y fijarte cómo articulo lento y luego más rápido. Eso va para todos, ¿eh? Y puedes ir agarrando frases y retroceder el video y volver a ver. Retroceder ese pedacito y volverlo a ver. ¿Para qué? Para hacer esto. How well are the new menu items doing? How well are the new menu items doing? How well are the new menu items doing? Go. Rina. How well are the new menu items going? Doing. So we have two words. Doing. Menu. Menu. You got it. Items. Menu. Doing. Menu. menu doing. Uh -huh. Excellent. Again, menu items doing. Okay. Menu items doing. Menu items doing. 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 Ahora, aclaración para todos, ¿por qué oh. ocurre esto? Y a muchos les está ocurriendo, pero ¿por qué ocurre? Porque tu cerebro se va a dar duro por leer como ya lo aprendió en español. Ya conoce la E, la U, la I, la E, la O, la I, ¿ya? Se está leyendo E, U, I, E, O, I, digo I, en lugar de leer I, U, I, I, O, I, uh -huh. o más bien I, U, ya. Menu. Items. Okay. Items. Doing. 
menu, a ver, I'm zoomed. Y ese es el problema. Entonces, acostúmbrate a, cuando tú escuches, hagas ese ejercicio de intentar aprenderte algo, ponerle más atención a tu oído que a tu vista. ¿Ok? Despegar la vista de la letra y solo escuchar, repetir. Devolves. ¿Ok? Para todos. Very good. Ok. Let's move on. It's 9.35. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna palabra nueva que han visto? ¿No? No. no cor courses. The, the word courses. For okay. example. Uh -huh. where, uh, I, I heard in, in another time courses like a training. It, the words are the same in, in that context? Totally. Yeah, as I said it. Yes, totally. Uh, you can say courses. How many courses have you course? ¿Cuántos cursos has cursado? How many courses have you course? Okay. Yeah. ¿Cuántos cursos has cursado? Okay. Very good. Course, courses. Okay. I'm coursing math this semester. I'm coursing English right now. Okay. I'm taking InsaForb courses online. Good. It all depends on the context. Great job. Okay. Let's continue. Now let's look at the graphic and the conversation. Write the percentages. The percentages. Um, alguien le decía, y no sé si algún teacher se los ha mencionado. Si ¿Sí saben que en cada palabra en inglés hay una sílaba estresada, no existe la tilde, existe la sílaba estresada. Entonces, es clave que cuando tú escuches una nueva palabra y pidas, how do you say that? Tú pongas tu dedo, si tenés esto en digital, en el celular o en la laptop, okay, que hagas esto. Percentages. Write the percentages. Ok, voy a agarrar esto y voy a poner algo aquí, una señal que diga que iba el estrés de la sílaba y que no se me olvide. Ahora ya sé que lo leo. Percentages. Percentages. No voy a leer percentages. O percentages o oh, percentages. I don't know. Weird. Ok. Si ¿Sí me expliqué. Siempre haces ese ejercicio okay. cuando escuches una palabra nueva. Ok. Tampoco leo products. Digo products. ¿Ves? Ok. So look at the graphic and the conversation. Write the percentages next to the products. Ok. Compare your answers with a partner. Let's do it together, shall we? The new lemon cake line. Hmm. What do you think? 35. 28. New lemon cake. Lemon. Keep an eye. That's a scale from 20. 20 in increases. This is a scale of 20% increases. Repeat. This is a scale. This is a scale. Yeah of 20% increases. And 20% increases. Of 20% increases. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. You see? 30% increases, 10% increases. So it goes increasing 10, 20% each time. Okay. So yes. Um, how much is it then? How, mu how much? What's the percentage? What's the increase in percentage? 36. 36, 38, right, okay. Mm, not 28. Look at this, it's very close. I will say five less. 35, something like 35. that, right? You got okay. it, okay. The new nacho snacks. The new nacho snacks. 80. 80%. 80%. Totally. Yeah, go to 80%. goes here. 80% percent, percent, percent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fish and chips main course. 100%. A hundred. <laughs> this is so difficult, right? It's like you have to be very careful with the graphics sometimes, especially at work. Okay. Whoa, okay. 
Look at that. It's very close to the 100, right? Very close, okay. Instead, this is exactly 90%. on the line. <laughs> like 99 or 98, okay. Good. Let's be very critic. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, you can say fish and chips, main course. Okay. So what, these are the polls. What is a poll, by the way? Nobody asked. I guess you understood. What is a poll? What is a poll? A survey? Good. Survey. That's another way of saying poll. Do you conduct surveys at work? Yes. 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 For what? Time. What for? Um, for Surveys. the customer complaint. Customer complaint. Customer Cust satisfaction. Customer satisfaction. Yes, you do survey. Survey. Service. Service. Okay. Which of the three products has the highest percentage of acceptance? Which of the three products have the highest has the highest percentage of acceptance. What is more accepted by your? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Fish and fish. chips, main course. Fish, fish and, and chips. chips. Everybody loves fish and chips. I think eating chips with fish is very common. Okay, let's go with some building vocabulary. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know what's my favorite restaurant of all times? And when I don't find anything to eat, you know where I go? I will recommend you the, the diamond of China. El diamante chino. The Chinese diamond, I'm sorry, the Chinese diamond. No idea? No idea. It's near to La Chulona. <laughs> It's in the corner, opposite. Yeah, in the Constitution Boulevard. That's right. Diamante Chino. Delicious, very clean, very nice. Okay. Let's see. Thigh, chicken, and rice. Thigh, chicken, and rice. Uh huh. <laughs> thigh, thigh. I'm not saying Thai. You can say Thai. Thai chicken, Thai chicken. Thai chicken, Thai chicken, and rice. Right. French onion soup. Be careful. Soup. French onion soup. French onion soup. French okay. onion soup. Then you French say onion soup. burger. 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 Bur burger. 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 Yeah. There. Sounds weird, but that's the way. Burger. A hamburger. Burger. Burger. By hamburger. the way, by the way, you have chicken burger, meat burger, hamburger, mm. fish burger. Hamburger. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Many types of burgers. Cheese and tomato sandwich. Cheese and, Cheese and, and tomato, tomato sandwich. sandwich. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. Ah, come on. Final sounds. Lemon cake. Lemon, Lemon cake. Lemon cake. cake. Lemon cake. Grilled. 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 Ah, Grilled. Grilled. Say Grilled. Grilled. Grilled fish and potatoes. Grilled, Grilled fish and potatoes. Grilled potatoes. Hmm? Green salad. Green, green salad. salad. Yeah, remember it's salad. not in, in salad. No, it's green salad. 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 English green tea. Salad. English tea. You got it. That, that's easy, right? English tea. English, English tea. tea. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Where's the stress? Where is the stress? Lemonade. Le Lemonade. 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 Fruit Lemonade. salad and cream. Salad. Fruit salad and cream. Fruit salad and cream. 
cream. Okay, so now you have to decide, for example, the thigh chicken. Where does it go? Is it a starter? Snacks? Is it a main course? Desserts? Desserts or drinks? Main course. Yes. Why? Because it goes with a friend, let's say. As you can see, German right. sauce and chips. Two things in one dish. Uh, Two things, one dish, dish, that's the main course. Okay. You can have the salad aside, or we typically have the salad on the same dish, right? <laughs> we do that. That's that's a, a characteristic of the Salvadorian. We put everything on one dish, right? The salad, everything. And some of us, guilty, some of us, when you eat soup, you put everything, even the tortilla inside the soup, right? <laughs> Do you do that? Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay, so let me split you. You have to divide each word, okay, on each part. So where does the salad go? Hmm. Is that a dessert? Do you eat salad for dessert? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Make sure you speak. It's just very short. Five minutes. Let's go. That's page 13. Um, Juan Marcos, let's go. Perfect. To you, let me, let me see. We're going to um, let me check. Jocelyn. Hi. Tell me. Um, yeah. We are going to um, build a. We're like, going to fulfill the chart. As the teacher mentioned before, the kind of school where, like a classific like a classification, is the right teacher. Um, it's a chart, and you have to classify. Correct. You have to classify the words under each category. In the order, okay. Category order. order. Okay. Category Perfect. order. Very good. Someone can share the picture. Can someone? Can someone share? Let me see if I could send it. Okay. Yes, in my case, because I am from the cell phone tonight. Um, do you have the WhatsApp group open? But I don't think that's necessary. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, no. Starters, uh, like, uh, and how can I say broad is... Um, when you visit the traditional food, they give you a um, caldo. Broth. Yeah, they, they give you soup. It's very small soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a starter, right? Or... Yeah, starters are many different things. It could be a small salad, small soup. Uh, what else? That's mm -hmm. it. Your salads yeah. or, oh, fruit. Sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like fruit. But up. sometimes the, the fruit they, they used to uh, include in the dessert, right? Oh, and in some places uh, they take first bread with um, butter, with garlic butter. Oh yeah, with garlic, right? Garlic yeah. butter. Mm -hmm. This um, the Pizza Hut used to give you a bread. Uh, yeah, I remember. With cheese and garlic butter. Okay, keep going. Okay. Some snacks. Help me, Azucena. Hi. I the start is the salad and piece of snack. Um, 
burger is main course. And mm -hmm. cheese and tomato sandwich is a snack. Okay, burger? Burger? Burger is main course. Main course. Mm. Okay, burgers. And cheese and tomato sandwich? That this is, is max. Yeah? It's not max. Okay. Cheese and tomato sandwich. Sandwich. Okay. Lemon cake? It's dessert. Dessert. This desserts or desserts, teacher? Desserts. the correct? Desserts. 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 Okay. Okay. Grilled fish and potatoes? Potatoes. 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 Okay. Grilled fish and potatoes. And you say grilled. Grilled, Miguel Ángel, grilled. Grilled. Hoy le toca quedarse de 10 a 10 y 10. Remember? Me? Yeah. Me? Ah, okay. Perfect. 10 minutes, 10 minutes after the class, okay? Okay, okay. Good. Okay. Grilled, grilled, ¿cómo dijo, teacher? Grilled potatoes. Grilled. Grilled potatoes. Okay. Um, this is green salad. Uh, this is main course. Main course. Okay. Green, green salad. Green salad. Green salad. And potatoes. Okay. Green salad is starters. It's not. Oh, the starters. The starters. 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 Okay, green salad, the starters. Okay. English tea? English tea? This is a drink. Drinks. Drinks. English tea. Okay. Pink mm. lemonade, it's correct. Lemonade. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Lemonade. Okay. Drinks. Drinks. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade and desserts. Desserts. All green. Desserts. Fruit salad and cream snacks. Fruit salad, yes, snacks. Fruit salad and cream. Okay. Okay. Finish. Yep. Okay, it's time to go. Very close. Great, everybody's back, okay. So guys, you have some homework to do, okay? For tomorrow, for tomorrow, prepare a menu. If you noticed on page 13, you need to work in groups, but I want you to do this individually. Try to be very creative. And tomorrow we will develop as a group Okay, as a group, we will develop this practice so we can use it during the class, working groups. Okay, the menu needs to have five categories. 
appetizer snacks, main course, desserts, desserts, and drinks. Okay. Ideally, ideally, each category should feature three or four items. So three appetizers, three snacks, three main courses. Okay. Four desserts, four drinks. Okay. So your plan, your homework will be to look for menus. Look for menus, go online and look for the menu of your favorite restaurant. Look for uh, the menu of um, new restaurants, you know, Sivar, Sivar Cafe, it's good. I heard, I don't know, El Basurero. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm just saying, look for menus and take a look. Okay, scan the menu. Oh, look, here we have the beers at the end. Hmm. Okay, some menus have one page only and that's it, hmm, think. And tomorrow we're gonna create together a menu, got it? So we can have right. a conversation and we will check this chart you just made. Uh, okay, let me see, let's do the attendance now, okay? One well, last time, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudio Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Fátima Efegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. I'm here. Carolina Ivette Romero. Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández and Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Um, bien, nos quedan dos minutos. Chicos, ¿alguien ha tenido algún problema con la plataforma? Ya estamos todos en la plataforma. Ya intentaron hacer algún ejercicio. Alguien me, alguien me escribí ahora y tenía un problema con rellenar el espacio en blanco de uno de los ejercicios. Fíjense bien, la mayoría de ejercicios que son de escribir en el espacio en blanco solo te piden una o dos palabras. El caso de los comparativos era, por ejemplo, esa respuesta era bigger than. Y solo si vas a poner, no vas a reescribir todo lo que son, sino solo bigger than. ¿Got it? Okay. Okay. Si no, igual Ajá. pueden estar probando ahí. Sí, correcto, correcto. Se puede, se vale probar varias veces. Okay. Hoy me quedo con Miguel Ángel. Uh, good night, everybody else. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. See you. Hey, okay. good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Ok, don Miguel Ángel. Ok, teacher. <risa> Good evening, buenas noches. ¿Cómo está, Miguel? Eh, bien, bien, un poco cansado, pero aquí con ánimos de aprender. Sí, verdad. Sí, sí, sí. Pero bien. Eh, 
Está mute, teacher. Sí, me están hablando, perdón. Ok, okay. es muy importante eh, que usted me diga en este momento, en este tiempo que tenemos. Eh, bueno, primero que nada, ¿es primera vez que está en el módulo, en el programa, o viene desde el básico 1? ¿Cómo ha sido su andar? Sí, eh, yo sí vengo desde el básico 1. Mm. Eh, y aquí eh. estamos. Muy bien. Nadie más. Sí. Estaba desde el presencial o virtual empezó todo? Todo virtual. Todo, todo virtual. virtual. Sí, Dios sí. mío, llevamos seis meses. Wow. Sí, sí, sí wow. Súper bien. ¿Con quiénes ha estado? Eh, primero me tocó con el teacher Carlos Alvarado en el módulo básico 1 y de ahí hasta el 5 me tocó con Narbona, Alejandro Narbona, mm -hmm. del 2 al 5. Y este último fue otra vez con Carlos Alvarado, solamente con ellos dos. Estaba... Yeah. Sí, sí, sí. Alejandro es súper hiperactivo, más que yo quizás ah, sí. a veces. Sí, sí, sí. It's really good. Y Carlos sí. igual, no lo, no lo he visto del todo bien, he visto uno que otro video de él, pero es muy inteligente también. Sí, It's really sí, good. Sí. Ok. Sí. Um, so, ¿en qué siente usted que aún está como titubeando? Vaya, fíjese que yo siento que mi problema son, bueno, un poco los nervios, porque a veces eh, cuando me agarran así como de sorpresa o, o conversemos, como usted decía al principio, entiendo, lo leo y todo, pero al momento de hablar siento que yo confundo quizás el, el presente como que sí yo puedo hablarlo bien, pero cuando ya quiero expresarme de pasado o de futuro, si yo lo veo en escrito, yo sé cómo es, me sé la estructura, pero cuando ya lo quiero mencionar o hablar, confundo esos tiempos, tanto el pasado como el futuro. Entonces, eso me cuesta un poco. Por ejemplo, si usted me pregunta, ¿cómo estuvo tu día? Y entonces yo le empiezo a decir, vea. Uh -huh. Y empiezo, a, ahí, ahí es donde yo, en mi mente quizás confunde como esos tiempos. Lo que pasa es que, ah, ajá, que... y naturalmente si nos expresamos. Ajá. Por ejemplo, una vez yo estaba, <ríe> el pasado. Ajá. Y la otra semana, de hecho, tengo ya pues el futuro y empiezo a hablar en futuro. Sí, Ajá, te, te no, comprendo. Vaya. Entonces, ¿cómo manejo eso? Ahí les envié un ejemplo de cómo hacer una dieta diaria. No sé si Alejandro les decía eso. A llevar una dieta diaria de acostumbrar a, a mi rutina, adaptar esto a mi rutina diaria. Cinco verbos, cinco palabras. Cada, ver, cada palabra relacionada al verbo. ¿verdad? Verbo, palabra... Empiezo positivo, negativo, pregunta. ¿Qué es lo que más me cuesta? El pasado, los verbos regulares, los verbos irregulares. ¿Verdad? Y ahí el presente perfecto, creo que ya lo vieron también. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo jugar esos verbos? La, fíjese que la única clave que hay para los verbos irregulares, irre, irregulares en pasado, en, es aprendérselos juntos. Sí, sí, me aprendo el get, got, gotten, o get, got, got. Eh, cut, cut, cut. Aprenderme los tres de una sola vez. O sea, ir viendo. Ir viendo las variaciones. Ya cuando me empiezo a ver el pasado. Para que se me vayan quedando, ¿no? Entonces, hago esto de la rutina. Hago un día solo el presente simple. Lunes, el martes hago el pasado simple. El miércoles hago el presente perfecto. El jueves hago el going to. Y ahí voy. Ajusto mi agenda. A que siempre voy a estar haciendo cinco verbos. Si quiero los cinco verbos toda la semana, los mismos cinco verbos las mismas cinco palabras, pero ir conjugando en el tiempo. Ahora, ¿me quedo con eso nada más? Eso lo hago ya en 10, 15 minutos y ya tengo hecha la plana. No, me voy al traductor de Google. Meto una oración positiva. Escucho unas dos veces, la repito. Me grabo. ¿Ok? Me ah, doy... eso, fíjese que eso hago yo cuando a veces voy manejando para mi trabajo, entonces agarro el traductor y, y, y activo el micrófono, pero hablo en inglés con el traductor, o sea, yo empiezo como a, a, a decir cosas de mi trabajo, por ejemplo, ahora voy a hacer tal cosa, pero en inglés, uh -huh. pero lo que me pasa a veces es que el traductor, me, o sea, quizás porque mi pronunciación es, no es la correcta, a veces yo quiero decir una cosa y el traductor pone otra, entonces yo, ahí, ahí me empiezo a confundir, pues lo mismo uh -huh. que le digo, ¿verdad? Yo quiero eh, decir cosas, hoy voy a hacer tal cosa, por ejemplo, ayer hice tal cosa, y cuando veo lo que yo dije, en mi mente era una cosa, pero el traductor me dice otra. Ahí es donde, donde me cuesta un poquito. 
Entonces, porque sí, a veces he grabado en el traductor cosas bien largas de todo lo que yo pensé en ese momento. Uh -huh. Pero cuando yo veo lo que el traductor hizo, varias cosas nada que ver con lo que yo quise decir. Hay una clave que yo les estoy dando y siempre el inicio de todo curso uh -huh. o esto. Uh, cuando me hacen un nuevo curso, eh, yo solí ocupar mucho esta página eh, de internet, se llama Ron Chan. Hay muchísimos audios ahí ahorita en, acá en Zoom. Le voy a enviar. ¿Usted está en su computadora o en su celular? En la computadora. Ok, bien. Ok, permítame estar con lento esto, no sé por qué. Le voy a enviar ahorita un link. Eh, le voy a enviar un índice de audios. No discrimine. Siempre le digo, no discrimine eh, entre los audios. Solo elija el primer link y luego el subíndice le va a mostrar un subíndice de títulos. Entonces ahí va usted a seleccionar cualquier audio. Eso me gusta porque está bien completo. Ok. Permítame que esto. esto. Qué extraño. Wow. Ah, bueno, ayer lo ocupé, de hecho, se lo envié a alguien, pero ya no lo tengo. Ya se lo voy a enviar mejor, porque no sé por qué. No porque pensé parece. que otra cosa que hago, teacher, uh -huh. bueno, uh -huh. es ¿Sí? que imprimí como historias en inglés, pero eh, era, de, por ejemplo, conociendo a la familia, viajando con mis amigos, o sea, temas así, y, y historias bien cortas, pero son lecturas. O sea, las imprimo y a veces que en la hora de almuerzo me pongo a leerlas, y, y creo, me ha ayudado bastante, o sea, para, para vocabulario. Vaya, esto es exactamente bastante. lo mismo, pero ¿cómo lo voy a ocupar? Yo voy a abrir un audio nada más, uno de esos, de ese índice, y luego el subíndice, y solo ese. Lo voy a escribir en mi cuaderno o lo imprimo. Yo siempre recomiendo la escritura porque ahí se juntan un montón de procesos en el cerebro cuando uno escribe. Entonces, regla de oro, yo no traduzco. No me importa lo que dice ahí. Español ya sé. Lo voy a traducir hasta las 12 de la medianoche del séptimo día. <ríe> ok. okay. <ríe> Entonces voy a andar esa lectura conmigo siempre. Hay algunos audios que permiten que se, sean ser descargados. Entonces ese audio ahí lo voy a tener. Y en mi navegador lo que voy a hacer es. Um, al final del celular hay un botón para cambiar entre, entre aplicaciones. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Yo puedo. Ah, pues ahí la dejo guardada. Esa no la voy a borrar. Ese audio, ahí lo voy a andar. Y cada vez que tengo un chance, le doy play. Voy en el carro, le doy play. No lo voy leyendo, voy en el carro, solo voy escuchando primero. Los primeros dos o tres días, solo me voy a dedicar, cuando pueda, a escuchar y ver la lectura. ¿Ok? Solo escuchar okay. y ver la lectura. Yo no voy a abrir la boca. Cuarto día, empiezo a leer. Sin entonar, solo ir leyendo cada letra. El quinto día, empiezo a leer lo más que pueda entonado junto con el audio. Okay. Esto, mm. Estos um, audios son bien naturales y es lo que me gusta a mí, que usted puede adaptarse a la entonación adecuada, a la, a la entonación uh, natural del inglés. Entonces, uh, todos son uh, um, conversaciones entre dos personas. Mm. Al final, ¿qué voy a hacer? Esto que estábamos diciendo, me grabo okay, y le doy play a las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. ¡Pum! Uy, dije mal esa palabra. La subrayo en la lectura. Esa otra. Ok. Ahora repetir esas tres, cuatro palabritas que dije mal ahí. Cuatro palabras de ciento, no sé cuál. Estamos bien. ¿Ya? Entonces ya me empiezo a enamorar de mí mismo y decir, Ey, qué chido estoy hablando, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Ajá. Poco a poco, poco a poco. Ya después puedo traducir eso. Pero es importante que usted le esté enseñando a su cerebro dos cosas. Uno, que hay una manera diferente de leer las letras que ya conocen español. Sí, porque ese es el eterno problema de, de aprender un idioma, ¿no? De aprender inglés, en este caso nosotros, español e inglés. Y la segunda, autocorregirse. Autocriticarse. Sí. Sí. ¿Ya? Y tener un parámetro, eso es lo importante, porque este es su boca ahorita, ¿ya? Este es su input y este es el output. Ok, igual manera, si necesita ayuda en algo, me escribe, ahí estoy en el chat, cualquier cosa estamos a la orden, ¿ok?
Ok, sí, ahorita estoy viendo lo, lo que me mandó. Lo voy a empezar. ¿Sí a le pensar. abrió? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Perfecto. Abrí ya la primera. Excelente. Ok. okay. Bien, Miguel, estamos a la orden. Pase una feliz noche. Gracias, igual, Tichi. Buenas noches.